Earlier this week, in a report released by the Auditor General, it said the ministry often bypassed the competitive process and breached the guidelines by unnecessarily using direct and emergency procurements. It also did not put in place adequate support systems to control costs, which former Education Minister Ronald Thwaites says is a cause for concern. The procedure and the scope of the arrangement, however, was obviously rife for corruption and should never have been allowed. It appears that within the Ministry of Education, and I can't believe that nobody else in government knew about it, people were allowed to do exactly as they please. This has to do with all of the credit cards, the corruption, etc., involving CMU as well. And there was no check on it. Nobody knew what was going on. Permanent secretary, financial officers, members of cabinet, prime minister. I can't believe that. And Mr. Thwaites expressed regret that the CMU and its president, Professor Fritz Pinnock, have ended up at the center of the controversy surrounding the education ministry. This is a gentleman of great ability and tremendous acumen. And I'm really very regretful that he has and, and the institution which he has headed have found themselves in this position. Jamaica needs a strong Caribbean maritime university. The longer these matters remain uncleared up, then the more the pedigree of that institution is compromised. This is not good for education. In the meantime, Mr. Thwaites says the CMU board might have to make a decision regarding Fritz Pinnock's tenure following the alleged scandals now circulating in the public. That is for the board to decide. Uh, I have appealed to the Minister of Education and the Minister in Charge of Education to help us to know the full truth and to clear up these matters so we can decide whether a persons have to be shifted or whether they can be restored. Professor Pinnock is currently on six weeks' leave of absence. Janae Williams, Frontline News.